Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Eastward. Last time we left off, we decided that we need to get to Esther City, because that's apparently where Izzy and uh, uh, Alva went. So, we need to get ourselves over there. Can I cook? I can cook. Get this mouse out of the way, I don't even know why it's on the screen. I chose controller as my preferred method of controlling. Uh, I want to try and make something new. We're still missing a bunch of ingredients. What about an octopus, a lemon, and an apple? Steamed fish. Octopus and vegetables? Fish sandwich. Octopus, fish, and egg. Seafood chowder. Octopus tofu. Seafood ramen. Seafood chowder. Aha! Octopus tofu and apple. Let's go. A fruity seafood and tofu dish. Cool, two fish. Awesome. I love the little jingle here for the music. I wish you didn't have to watch the cutscene every single time whenever you made a new dish. <clears throat> but, uh... Ooh, seafood tempura. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, you can skip it once you've made the dish once, but when you're making a new dish, you can't do it. The buttery golden batter locks into deliciousness until the moment you sink your teeth in. Yeah, tempura is pretty good. Uh, what else can we make? I'm com like completely out of meat. Have I just done three egg before? I have not. Well, there we go. This is basically just going to be like an omelet. I'm surprised we haven't found any types of cheese. That's a pretty big surprise to me. Like, no cheese at all? We found, uh, tofu, which apparently when it was first discovered, uh, we found steamed eggs. We found tofu, which apparently, uh, when it was first discovered, uh, I think Benjamin Franklin coined the term, uh, at least first discovered in, like, America. Benjamin Franklin coined the term, uh, uh, Asian cheese, I believe is what he called it, which was always like, huh, <laughs> this is weird. Okay, two egg tofu, steamed eggs, uh, two egg vegetable, two egg fish, and two egg fruit. Uh, it's not fruit, uh, fruit, cake, yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. I guess that's enough for now. We got some food items, so go ahead and get out of here. I just need more meat, mostly. The lab. Alva was always in there researching the miasma. Maybe there'll be some kind of clue in there. Oh, I wanted to go upgrade my ship before we left, but uh, I guess that's off the table. Should have done that earlier. So that is my bad. Input signal out of range. Input signal out of range. Alva, do you copy? Alva, do you copy? Yeah, are we gonna lose the Sonic Punk? Or are we still gonna have him? Because his refill your ammo is very good. Or it's refill your ammo. Signal lost. Launching auto mode. Hello. Helper bot at your service. Please enter a system name. Sonic Punk. Input complete. Name updated. New name registered. Sonic Punk. Please enter a command. Find Alva. Searching for Alva. Not found. Last known signal. East, east, east. East. Caution is advised for those traveling east of New Dam City. The only available route is via the main rail, according to an unverified source. The immortal Esther City sits on the eastern edge of the continent. Map data is incomplete, no further information available. Okay. Is that it? Sonic Punk, please enter command, find Isabel. Searching for Isabel, not found, less than signal east, east, east. Okay, so it's the same thing, no matter what you choose. Huh. Weird. I thought it'd be different, otherwise why even give you the option to ask about Isabel? Okay, well we know where to go now. We gotta go hop on the main rail and get east. East? I thought you said weast. Alright. 
Let go. Am I going to be able to actually shop? Yay, I think I will. Which is, uh, good, because I need to buy some stuff. Hello. Hook me up with all your fish. So it was a bit empty because of the miasma, but there may be something you can still use. Uh, I can't buy the crab anymore, unfortunately. But, uh, we got those two things. If it's trouble you'd be facing, best to be facing it on a full stomach. Alright. Whoa, you look different. Hey, what's up, friend? This isn't made to repulse. Uh, Johnny Boy and Sam the Man. Gonna miss you two something awful, you know. Au revoir, mes amis. Renevez vite. I... Mm, butchering. Wanted, dead or alive, our brave and valiant knight has not only abandoned us, now she's run off with our beloved princess. It's true. Our rage must be heard. This is unforgivable. Simply unforgivable. Interesting. Yeah, you're wearing a raincoat to protect your notes. Seeing all you rich folks soaked to the bone sure is a hoot. You want my raincoat, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. I wouldn't sell it to you for all the money in the world. Wa ha 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 ha. I'm good. Apparently John doesn't mind too much. You sure it's fine me buying this milk and all? That money could feed the two of us for a month. Buy it. You like it, don't you? Yeah, but... I'm gonna get me a job. I am. And then I'm gonna get you anything you want to eat. I'm gonna get us a door. A real door that people can knock on. And you ain't never gonna have to yell at nobody for not knocking on that door ever again. I won't even have to let them in if they knock either. <laughs> Alright, what's up? Friendly spendy. Alright, um... I'm good on that, I'm good on that. I'll buy some more chicken, buy some more tofu. And sure, we'll buy more of your spices. There we go. Bubble tea. And bubble tea is good, to be fair. Thanks for dropping by. Do, 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 do. Alright, so... Where now? I think we just need to go up. I mean, obviously we need to go there. Back to Calron, but, uh... First, I want to upgrade my stew. Gotta upgrade my stew. I don't get a penny to my name anymore. Oh. And everybody here is gonna have a rough time of it now. Even rougher than normal. It's just gonna be rough all around. Uh, did I miss the place where you upgrade your shit? With Johnny? I might have. Because that's not where I need to go. And I don't think this is either. Yeah, no. Where was that place? Was it... Oh, I think it was down even more. <clears throat> Alright, let me get back down there. I want to upgrade. I don't feel like waiting to get to the next town to do so. I wish we could run in these sections. It would make... Honestly, it wasn't that much of a problem until we got to this town. There's just so much town to cover. A lot of places to go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you, you short-circuited. You gotta plug yourself back in. We get it. You saw that? Another short-circuit? Yep. Alright, so... Um... I still haven't got any of the expansions. I wouldn't mind an ammo box expansion. I don't really need a bomb expansion. Uh, I can upgrade you again. So let's go ahead and do that. Yay. Upgraded. Alrighty. Now, I have three regular parts. Carry more ammo and more bombs. Honestly, it doesn't even feel like that big of a deal because... Um... It's hard for me to run out of ammo usually, and if I do, I just cyberpunk it, so... Or cyberpunk it. Sonic punk it. Oh god. Okay. Well, let's leave now. Gotta go get up to Calron. Later, all you nerds. I wish I could say it's been great hanging out with you, but sometimes it was. Sometimes it was a little frustrating, because they'd be like, 
Hey, you're up here at the coin palace. Go all the way down here. And then go all the way back up there. And then go all the way down here. It seemed like there was just a lot more... I guess I would call it, like, padding in this particular, uh, area. It was just a whole lot of, oh no, something went wrong. Who could have thought? And then, yeah, especially the cooking with, um, Lee. Like, did we really need to cook three times and get three different special things to cook? But whatever. I was kind of just waiting for the plot to further. Oh, this was the thing we saw. I saw, yeah, in that vision we saw like a giant ship looking thing. I forgot that was this. Okay. Well, now we know. A train bound for Esther City? That is simply impossible. Having said that, train did arrive heading east a few days ago, but I'm afraid it's already left. When's the next train then? I'm afraid I can't say for sure. It could be tomorrow, or it could be next year. If only. Yes, if only there were another way to ride the rails. Come to think of it, I may have spied such a vehicle lately. What? If only there was another way to ride the rails. Only there was another way to ride the rails. All the way back down there? Okay. <laughs> here's the here's the thing I mentioned again. We walk all the way up here. And it's like, alright. All the way back down. I guess it would be easier if there was like... I don't know. Not, maybe a fast travel system? But I get why they don't have one. Because you can see characters that you haven't seen yet on your walks. And kind of, you know, talk to them and see how they're doing. It's just weird. Yeah, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of this area. I like the idea of it. There's just so much walking. To get between uh, point A and point B. And a lot of the time you just walk to an area and the character's like, Okay, now go to that area. Alright. So, this place down here. Hello. Ooh, I finished that song I was going to write for you. You really must let me sing it for you before you leave. Well, that's nice. Thank you. Cool. When do you think this rain's gonna let up, huh? I hate it. I can't do anything when it just keeps raining like this. Damn, all I want to do is play Earthborn. Can't you bring the machine inside, Mrs. Toyama? Ha ha ha, you young whippersnappers. If Granny tried to lift that machine, her old bones would break faster than sticks in a wood chipper. If you want to play it so bad, buy the machine and haul it off yourselves. Think we'd be here if we had that kind of money? This stinking rain will never let up. Oh hey, it's Sam. We heard the princess ran away, is that true, Sam? As if, the princess is an upstanding gent. It was Isabel, she took Alva and left for Esther City. Esther City? You mean that Esther City? The one and only. I thought that was just an old fairy tale. Yeah, but if that's where Isabel's headed, doesn't that mean it's real? It is real. Huh? Mrs. Tayama, do you know something about Esther City? How were we supposed to know to come here? Do you know how to get there, huh? Oh, and how would Granny know something like that? What I do know, though, is that it exists. The princess's grandfather, you see, he came from there. Alva's grandpa is from Esther City? Uh, how about this? Do we have all these things? Which ones am I missing? I think I might be missing that one in the middle there. Uh... No, we have Evil Mage. Oh, I'm missing that worm. That's on- that's on- a common on the first tier. I'm missing that. I didn't realize that was one of the ones I was missing. Alright. I don't know if I'll actually play Earthborn again, but wow, seriously? I'm going for the common and I get the, the rare on the first pull. 
Bone Dragon. I mean, I guess I don't have that one. A giant ancient dragon buried beneath the sands at the farthest reaches of the desert. New Pixball for you to take on greater dangers. Oh, that wasn't even listed here, I don't think. Or maybe it was listed at the top prize, but now it's changed. So that's probably for a new boss fight, basically. What? Again? <laughs> I want the common, damn it! Well, thank you for another mummy. Uh huh. There we go. Come on, give me the give me the caterpillar looking thing. There we go. Dune worm. Its cute countenance has made it a target for bullies among the monsters. Maybe I should go out for a walk. Lost the spark to create more monsters. All right. There we go. So, yep, that's uh, all of the commons. I'm still missing an uncommon, and that's bone dragon, which is another one of the dragons. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if I'll actually play Earthborn again or not, but, uh... Oh, wait, what? There's more we had to do in here? It kind of lists it, like, right here. What? No, I don't want to buy anything from you. Looking for William, are you, dearie? He's in the back, so I'd hurry up if I were you if he seems ready to go. What? Oh, yeah, we talked to William for... Okay, yeah. Is everything ready? Uh, everything's packed and ready on the train. Then the time has finally come. City has been good to us. I'll remember it fondly. Yeah, when you're scamming people. M maybe we should wait a few more days? Absolutely not. My calculations are correct. They should be arriving any second now. S sam are you alright? <clears throat> Daniel, you're doing this young lady a disgrace. Now you two need something, yes? My cat screams for no reason. <laughs> hey, buddy. Esther City, is it? Interesting. Remarkable place, really. Though I'm afraid the fare won't be cheap. But, but I thought we already... Jesus. I hate you. Since the first time I saw the both of you. I couldn't help but think fate had a truly peculiar thing. Even now, it just so happens that we too are headed eastward. Certainly having a strapping, indef indefatigable man such as yourself is bored would be in our best interest. As would complimentary passage be in yours. What say ye? You scratch our backs, we scratch yours? You no, know, once you made up your mind. I'm done. Ready to set off, young vagabonds? Yep. <coughs> Superb! Let us meet at the station, then. Please teleport me. Take me with you! Okay. Ah. <laughs> Maybe they'll still teleport us. Alright, we're collecting all of our stuff from Alva's house, waving it goodbye. Turning the lights off. We'll miss you, home. This is the second home we've had to say goodbye to. I didn't even expect us to actually find a nice home in this place, but hey. Their poor balcony with all that garbage on it. Sam looks pissed. <laughs> her sprite looks like that sometimes. I, get, I think it's like her getting things done face, but she just looks pissed off to me. Goodbye, new damn city. You were kinda cool. I just wish you had an elevator or some shit. It would have been nice. John's probably lost like 20 pounds walking up all these damn stairs up and down them. All these damn stairs. Ha! <laughs> ha! Oof. Hello. Is everybody gonna wave goodbye to us? I guess so. Jasper staying? John. You're still in the dominatrix outfit? You guys. You're blowing this popsicle stand then, are you? 
No need for the long face. We've all come to see you off. John, we really owe you guys for yesterday. Ain't that the truth. I'd be at the bottom of some bastard's stomach if it wasn't for you guys. And you've done so much for our troop, too. We can't thank you enough. Thank you. Sam, Jackson's got something to say to you. H hey, why me? Didn't we say we'd say it together? He's just too scared to say it because it's too mushy and everyone will laugh. So, uh, Sam and, uh, Mr. Stash, what I want to say is it's... You guys are our heroes. S say something! Jackson's basically been heartbroken since he heard you were leaving. You just gotta come back. And when you do, we'll play Earthborn again. John. So it's finally that time, is it? The faded farewell? I put a lot of thought into it, you see. I believe I should stay here. This is where I belong. Hmm. Where'd the Beetle Queen go? She was here just a second ago. She's right there. Your Highness. If you would. The road to the east is plagued with danger. Not even our troop dares travel that ill-fated path. Legend has it the land is covered by an impenetrable fog. You must be careful. Safety first. Take this. Perhaps it will prove to be of some use. You guys, thank you. What is it? Is it a new gun? Or another heart? Okay, thank you. I'll take it. Ah, oh, the sun's come out. Yeah, you guys all waited out here in the rain for me. The sun's seeing, of, seeing us off too. How nice. Well, we almost have max hearts. We're getting there. I probably missed a heart piece somewhere, so I imagine I'm not going to get all of them. You'll even then. Sure am, Lee. It's the city. My grandpa spoke of it once. A frozen city along the eastern edge of the world, with a soaring tower reaching towards the sky. This won't be an easy trip, that much I can tell you. There's still time to change your mind. No way, we're not giving up! You too. There's something about you. You've got a kind of strength I can't even dream of. Guess it's like they say. Even the coldest crapshooter can still turn the tables and hit it big in the end. Damn right! And I shoot way more than just crap. Hello, you leaving too? Hello again, my friends, and goodbye, I'm afraid, for I'm headed home. You and I have had a lot of great memories together, haven't we? Here, take this, my final painting. Think of it as a parting gift from a fellow traveler and friend. Ow. We have saying in my village, the real treasure is the friends you make along the way. Yeah, the meme. You ever have a chance, you come visit sometime. Awesome. So did I actually get the painting? Is it like listed in my quest items or whatever? No, surprisingly. All right. John, feast your eyes on the steed of iron, our ride, as it were. The Iron Carbine, with frame of wrought iron and the sheer propulsive force of 100 virile stallions. It represents the ultimate in vehicular transportation, and boasts a stellar chauffeur, if I may add. I'm not sure stellar is the right word. Shall we hit the road, as they say? We have quite the trip ahead of us, and many, many hours of pleasant conversation. No conversation with you is pleasant, William, but alright. <laughs> Massive dick. Goodbye! Thank you for waving! I'm surprised all the people didn't wait up here so they could actually see us leave. That's usually what you do when someone is leaving like that. You go wait at the like train station or airport or whatever. Alrighty, here we go. I imagine we're probably getting close to the end of the game now. 
The dam stands above the water, shining and still, the same as it did when we arrived, and it'll still be there when we leave. Throughout the streets, black dots wriggle, like ants repairing their nest after the rain. A few familiar faces are now missing from the crowds of people, and the faces of those left behind are numb and devoid of emotion. Maybe if we didn't leave, we'd be amongst them too. Maybe if they didn't leave, they'd be amongst them too. Yeah, that's pre that's a pretty melancholic uh, little uh, message there. Like as much as I as much as I harp on how annoying some of the questing was, I do think that like plot wise was probably my favorite area of the game, which makes sense because, I mean, it's the one that we've been at the longest and got to know the people the most. Because the only other places we've been are Pot Croc and Greenberg, and Greenberg didn't last very long. Marvelous day, isn't it? Seems we chose the right day for departure. Guess so. Turn that frown upside down, milady. There's nothing to worry about. If you wear your nerves so thin already, why you'll run out of nerves to wear before we even reach Esther City. Have you ever been to Esther City, William? Alas, no. We're as in the dark about the good city as you are. But, if the legends are correct, and so long as we continue eastward along the main line, we'll reach it sure as silver. Ah, we've already lost sight of New Dam City. Well, this thing goes fast. Daniel, level off here. Y yes sir Not to be stingy, of course. We simply don't want to run out of fuel. Getting stuck in the middle of who knows where isn't normally my cup of tea. When are you going to go back for your son? <laughs> Jeez. Man, John's been through a lot now. He's dealt with a lot of loss. At least Sam actually remembers everything now and kind of knows what John's been going through. I must say, John, I don't remember you having a daughter. Don't tell me that's school teacher. No. No? Then... Catherine, was it? Okay, so you actually know that I know you're from Potcroc. She did seem to have some interest in you, and yet somehow... Bah, never mind, there's no need to explain everything to me. Anything to me. Adults like us have our reasons for everything. Yeah, like what are your reasons for being a massive dick? Yes, reasons for everything. Poor Daniel. Daniel, is he... How is he? Is that so? He has always been a strong-willed boy. If only he hadn't been my son, yes. And he certainly would have had it a lot easier. Well, at least you admit you're... kind of a piece of shit about this. Yeah. I can't believe you would just leave him like that. Jeez. And Daniel's like, my dad did see the outside. Like, he still looks up to you and everything when he really shouldn't. Hey, what's that? Outside, John. There's some kind of giant mushroom outside. Mushroom? Oh, wow. They are giant mushrooms. Uh, that looks like a dangerous area. I don't want to go there. Reminds me of an area from an old JRPG I played on the PS2 called Radiata Stories. Love that game. My, my, that is quite the substantial shroom. A mushroom of this size, why? Yeah, it's a mushroom biome in Minecraft. That too. You haven't seen anything like that before, have you, William? I'm bringing no small lump of change in New Damn City, that's for sure. Yeah, seriously. There's some f fog gathering up ahead. Should I reduce speed? Interesting. Very well. Safety first, as they say. Yep, here's the fog that they talked about. Alrighty. Though, what's that behind us? What? Something behind us? Don't scare me like that. Oh, God. A ghost of... Uh, of... Okay, no, that's not- oh! Oh dear. Wait, is that like the ghost of, um, whatever train Alvin and Izzy took here? Because there was a rocket on top of it, wasn't there? Faster, Daniel, if you would. There's another train chasing us. 
Increasing speed. Yeah, see, it's the rocket. Is this like a, a like vision of when they were here, basically? The fog making us hallucinate? It's going so fast, it's gonna hit us. Not good, not good, not good. Faster, Daniel. Can't you push this any harder? We've already reached max speed. We're gonna crash. Is it real or is it just gonna go right through us? I expect it. It did not. So wait, is is that Alpha and, and Izzy? How did we get past them? Uh, are we still alive? Well, what just happened? That train, that was the iron carbine. Okay, wait, it broke us out of like the dream or something when it hit us because that fog must have been making us hallucinate. It looked exactly the same, except it had a rocket strapped on top. You must be mistaken, my dear. I created the iron carbine myself. You'll not find another train like it in all the world. But I saw it. Maybe you didn't create it. Maybe you just stole it from like, Alva's lab. And this was like the proto- we, We're using the prototype and Alva has the real one. Did you see it, John? Huh? There's something weird with the fuel tank. Almost like, like the fuel we just used c came back? What on earth do you mean by that, came back? But that's just what I mean. Almost like we didn't use any fuel after seeing that mushroom. We're more like, like we haven't moved at all. And how, pray tell, could that even be even remotely possible? Even a cursory glance outside would tell you we're currently making good time down the main rail. Go this fast without using any fuel, why we'd be the world's next billionaires. Uh-oh. We- it's- it's like a lost woods. We can't get- is it- is it going to like, make us hallucinate and get teleported back to the beginning every time? That's weird. I swear we've already gone by this place. Yup. Alright now, my vertically challenged little friends, let me entertain you for just one moment. If all that you're saying is truly the case, then we should be approaching some fog soon, hmm? Uh, approaching fog. Yup. It's like Lost Woods. Daniel, I don't believe I remember teaching you how to lie. Wait, are you being serious? Yup. Okay, so it's like the Lost Woods. We get booted out at the beginning. Well, we're not going the wrong way, but we still get booted out. It's there, it's there, the other carbine. Mother of God, faster, Daniel, it's gaining on us. This didn't work last time, so... Yeah, just rewind, just rewound time on this. Damnation! The iron carbine is totaled. It's going to cost a fortune. Not to mention all the fuel costs. We're back! This is quite a dilemma. I've got it! The key is that other iron carbine. Things become, shall we say, weird as soon as that other iron carbine catches up with us. Which means, all we need to do is go faster than it. Daniel. You're going to want to tighten your grip on the shift, because when that thing appears again, you're going to push this little engine that could as fast as you can push it. Yes, sir. Okay. Sounds... like a bad plan, but, uh... we'll see. Here again. Hmm. Don't tell me I'm going in circles. That fog. Oh, did you guys get lost in the fog? Even the water's gone deathly still. Hmm. Or you were using the rocket. Jeez, I didn't expect that. Don't worry, we'll be there soon. Poor Alva. I simply can't believe it. We're the real Iron Carbine. How is that phony pursuer? How is it that phony pursuer can go as fast as us, hmm? No, no, I mustn't let that Iron Rep Scallion get to my head. Daniel, when the time comes, I want you to use that. Th th that? But it's not very mm, stable. 
It's not been fully tested yet. Oh, Pish, you worry too much. Besides, if we're not able to pull out ahead of that speed fiend, we might be stuck here in this loop for the rest of our lives. It's true. And you two, you'd best find something to hold on to. Let's just say we're about to get pretty fast. Ready, Daniel? Don't hold on to the table, that's probably a... I was gonna say sit on the couch thing, but I guess the table is like probably bolted down or something, so... High density fuel loaded. Perfect. Now let's see if our friend Mr. Light makes an appearance. Here comes the fog. Prepare yourself, Daniel, and await my command. Not yet. Come on. Uh huh. We gotta defeat the Phantom Train. If only Saban was here to, to suplex it. There it is! Now, Daniel, now! Activating fuel. Wow. Wow, that thing is fast. It's keeping up with us. Or are we getting away? Can't you go any faster? It's gaining on us. Uh, I can't. We're already going as fast as we can go. Any faster, we might b blow up. Here it comes. Last. Are we to be trapped here forever then? Oh god, his face when he got when they got hit, he like freaked out. Oh, did we just run into to their thing, their little rocket thing that they were taking? Izzy and uh, Alva, uh, are you okay? That certainly smarts. Is that it then? Have we failed once more? I th think we've hit something. What? Over there, look! I see something! Yeah, it's- it's- It's Alva and- Or- Not? Hi? Okay, never mind. I thought it was gonna be them, because they were also on the rail. The young master learns this, he'll be piping mad. He will? Oh, he will, dear, dear. Monkey mother, and who are you two? We're on our way to Esther City. Except that, well, we got stopped by some weird train. Ah, you speak of the time field. The flow of time is a bit of a jumble within the fog, you see. Without the proper speed, you'll never make it through. Just like, well, Wong Hollywood. Wong Hollywood? Chapter 6, Once Upon a Time in Mong Hollywood. Okay, well, we're here, I guess. I get it, because it's Monkey in Hollywood. Mong Hollywood? Wait, then you're trapped here too? Trapped? We're all a little trapped, wouldn't you say? At any rate, if you need any assistance, my children will gladly help you. You can find them in the car up ahead. You mean those guys over there? Erm. Um, well, yes, those are my children, but I'm afraid they're a bit lacking in the intelligence department. Now, my other children are further up ahead, playing. They're always finding something new and novel to play with. Okay, uh, thank you. Um... Mom. Feel free to call me Mom. It's what everyone does. Okay, thank you, Mom. You look like a breeder bot, but I'm guessing... Either you're, like, outside of your AI, you, like, broke your AI or something, and now you think you're a monkey mender? John, doesn't she look a little bit like the robot back in Greenberg? Yes. It's weird. Like, maybe you just decide, like, you, you broke your AI, became intelligent, or sapient, or whatever. And, uh, yeah. Huh. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I can't even talk to you guys. Are you guys all just watching TV? Like, Psychonauts TV? Also, this, uh, I, I hope we get a, a level like, um, in Paper Mario 1000 Your Door. You're laughing. Okay. Yeah, you guys are just watching TV. TV? Dressing room one. Hello? Producer Pedrino, eek, I say. What was that terrific explosion just now? Damn near scared the devil out of me. They're not filming an action sequence now, are they? Eek. I'm so sorry, sir. That was just us crashing violently into the side of your train. <laughs> ook ook, ack. Great train heist, brilliant. 
Clever girl, I'm the producer here, eek. The producer? Yes, though some people still remember me as the mayor, eek. It was when th that old chap came around, yes. That was when we metamorphized into a glorious filmmaking troupe at De Extravagant. Naturally, I was elected producer, though I've been known to stretch my acting muscles from time to time as well, eek. What say you, girl? Do you like moving pictures? Well, do I? Earthborn's my favorite. Ooh, ooh, gack, Earthborn, you say? Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. Why, when I graced the stage in that film, I was but a haughty young chimp filled with illusions of grandeur. <clears throat> oh, man. You acted in Earthborn? Oh, man, he's the monkey! He's the monkey! Who'd you play, huh? The Rocket Knight? The Hunter? The Archmage? Ha ha ho! But of course, there's only one role I could have played. The monkey, eek. Who was pretty good. Wait, then... You guys don't happen to still have the Rocket Knight's rocket here, do you? Rocket? Come to think of it, I do remember seeing something of the sort. You'd need to ask in the storage car, though. Speaking of, would a young film buff like yourself... Have any interest in a bit of acting of your own? Acting? You mean like in a real movie? Why, of course, Ack. We've been quite short of hands lately, you know, particularly when it comes to the humans of the speaking variety. At any rate, go speak to our director. Tell him I sent you. He's sure to know more about this rocket as well. Ukukak, and before you go, take this. Consider it a gift for a budding young film aficionado. What is it? Moncollywood mm, contract. A contract isn't exactly a gift, I would say. Wow, this is a long train. Okay. Well, here's where the director is, I guess. Welcome to the Monk Hollywood Archives. The vast library of Monk Hollywood movies can all be found here. Okay. Nothing super interesting, though. Well, there's Earthborn. Broken again, eek. Red hair. That damn Argudo must be shedding again, eek. You were in the washer, friend. Okay, what can I get here? Anything new? Seems like mostly the same kind of stuff. Eh, I guess I'll wait. I wanna see if there's anything new I can get from some of them. You. You're monkeys, yes. Monkeys? We're not monkeys, we're humans. Impossible. Never before have I seen a human so lacking in androgenic hair. A human would exhibit the same hypertrichotic tendencies as I. Monkeys capable of speech, though. Now that is rare. A wild species, perhaps? At any rate, what brings the two of you to Monk Hollywood? Heading to Esther City. We're on our way to Esther City. This range of cognitive skills is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Still, monkeys will be monkeys. That city is nothing but a legend, you know. It doesn't exist. It does, I know it does. Our friend is already there. Yes, very well. No use reasoning with monkeys, I suppose. Stubborn, irritable creatures. Alright, later, jerk. Uh... Man, this room is very long that I'm in currently. We're filming a scene for Deadly Dolls upstairs, eek. Ook, ook. only those with permission with the produce from the producer allowed. Deadly Dolls? What's that? How could you not know what Deadly Dolls is, eek, you plebeian? Deadly Dolls is only the newest, hottest science fiction film. They come out of Monk Hollywood, ook, ook, eek. Newest, hottest science fiction film? Oh gosh, that sounds pretty cool. Is it like Earthborn? Huh? Earthborn. Now there's a name I haven't heard in a long time, but uh, not really. There's more of a period flick. More of a period flick. Period flick? Yeah, you know, about the ancient times and all that. Ancient times? So that's what they were like. Anyway, I've already said too much. Can we go upstairs? What? The producer recommended you? Eek. That old ape. Fine then, you can go up, but quiet on set, you hear. I guess up is where we want to go, but what's over here? <coughs> you ready yet, eek? Almost, almost, Ukuk. I-I can't, just give me a sec, eek. 
God almighty. At this point, you're gonna completely miss the shoot. What's wrong? Rotundo won't come out of the bathroom. And we've got an important scene to film today. Is this every time he does? Folds at the crucial moment. Quiet, you. It's... it's a physiological response. I can't help it. Can I just go in? No. Okay, I can go in here, though. Toilet. Let's go ahead and close that. There we go. Job well done. And... I know y'all are humans and all, but that don't mean you're getting ogled in the tubs any less weird. So, sorry Yeah, my apologies. Alright, what's over here? God, this place is massive. Oh no, this place is massive. Okay. Wow. Alright, let's get up here then. Stop it, you two. This is no time for fighting. Already the doll army has entered the city. <clears throat> Damnation. If only I still had my Beef Buster 5000. That old tin can, don't make me laugh. The only thing that hunk of bolt's good for is breaking down. Well, well, what did you say? You dare blaspheme against my Beef Buster 5000. I said it once, I'll say it again. That thing ain't nothing but an old tin can. Cut! Idiots, all of you, eek! I said to give me a sizzle pop, not a sizzle flop. Pop, pop, I say, sizzle pop! Ugh, you flea-ridden abdicarians. I- nothing, eek. I- I'd never seen that word before. There was sizzle pop, huh? You got any idea, Denaro? Eck. Sizzle pop, sizzle pop. Yes, I would say something along the lines of a sizzle followed by a pop. Kick, 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 kick. You think this pineapple head's got any idea what you's talking about? You gotta use three letter words with this guy, come on. Yeah, three letter words. Hey, wait a minute. Quiet on set. We'll take it from the top again, from the top. And where is Rotundo? He had better march his shapely derriere out here right now. Or I am going to go ape, I tell you. If he does not produce himself in one minute, he is fired. Fired! Okay. Here's the Earthborn set, I guess. Oh, hey, treasure. Uh, I guess I gotta walk behind the screen to get that. Like so. And three tokens. Cool. Yeah, and it looks like they were playing, like, a tabletop game over there. <clears throat> I just so happen to have procured myself a freshly squeezed bottle of banana milk. What say you, my lady? Get to join me for a nip back in my room. Uh, you sound like a human. Don't make me sick. Oh, ho, but of course, but of course. I thought the more direct approach of animals would thrill you. My mistake, my mistake. Interesting. A rotundo went running off again, what a wimp! At this rate, that part is mine! <laughs> Darlings! Yes, yes, yes! Eek! Those corpse-like soldiers, that vacuous expression, those palms as callous as sand-crusted pebbles, that beard as bedraggled as an androgynous something, you, sir, are everything I've ever looked for in a man. Tell me, darling, have you ever wanted to be a star? Um, we're just looking for a rocket? I'm the director of this outfit, and you are... I'm Sam, and this here's John. The producer sent us here to- As lifeless a name as your cold dead eyes. Perfect! I don't care who recommended you, I'll be the only one deciding who's a star around here. So come on, darling, show me your stuff. Man, this episode's like all cutscene. Ahem, eek. What is wrong with this microphone? It's far too quiet. Give me another one. Eek. Much better. What is this? Why is your hair all over it? Whatever, I'll just use it the old way. Now then, George. It's, uh, John, Mr. Director. <coughs> John, darling, close your eyes. You're a young man without a future. A lazy bum whose pile of crunchy socks is higher than his dreams. But you're in love, darling, in love with a feisty jock of a girl who solicits you to take part in the school baseball championship. 
What you never could have expected, though, was that the girl's brother, yes, her brother, is the captain of the baseball team. In order to prove yourself, you challenge him. Yes, you, the vulnerable, naive man who knows nothing of the evil of the world, faces off against the insatiable captain and his succulent abdominals. Can we get on with this already? Don't rush me, I'm setting the scene. Ahem. Anyway, that robot, that's her brother. How you prove yourself to him. <laughs> well, it's up to you, darling. Now, start. Is this the, like, baseball thing again I already did before? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I mean, I blew him up. That was easy. I got zero points though, score- Wait, was I supposed to hit them at the bottles and stuff? <clears throat> I didn't know that was the case. I tried, but... I don't know. You... You monster! That performance, I- I'm speechless, absolutely virulent. Here it comes, here it comes, oh god, the inspiration is filling me! I can see it, the girl, what does she do? She hesitates? Does she comfort you? Does she care for her injured brother? The tension, and as for you, oh yes, for you, dear George or John. Yeah, I didn't know how to hit the bottles. I saw there were bottles scattered about, but I didn't know how to get the ball to go any different directions. You now find yourself completely and hopelessly in love with baseball. Yes, 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 I can see it now. I even have the perfect name for it. I shall call it Ballin' for Love. Oh god. But first, we need to finish shooting this movie. I've seen all I need to see. Find me in the special effects car, would you, darling? Chop chop. Back to work, you lowlifes. Right behind you. <clears throat> okay. There's there's nothing over here. Gotcha. Damn director. Don't know how he can see anything in a scrawny human like you. Don't get cocky. That part's gonna be mine sooner or later. <laughs> Alright, you do you, friend. Alright, I think we'll do a little bit longer of an episode this time, like maybe like an hour and 15 minutes just because a lot of it was cutscenes, so I feel like I want to get some other stuff done. <clears throat> Alright, special effects car is where we gotta go. I'm telling where that is, jeez. Sorry folks, no autographs. Afraid the old hands haven't recovered yet. Are you an actor too? Huh, I'm not an actor just because I'm playing babysitter. Don't mean I ain't got the chops. You're gonna have the great Makakwe Bambuna. Picture this, a down-on-his-luck boxer hoping to get back in the ring. There's nothing that could have gotten my way, tough as a rock as I was. Trained every day, doing whatever I could, even using them frozen bananas. Also, I could go up against the great Gorilla Creed in his one-pulse-pounding pound, one match. Okay, so this is just a rocky thing. That was when my hands got rubbed out, so to speak. They've been out of commission ever since. They're probably gonna find someone new for the sequel. Alright. Ah, newbies, you're late. Don't you got any sense of urgency? No offense, but you just understand something, you hear? You humans ain't fit from on Hollywood, always coming and going and going and coming. And as soon as you get yourself a little fame, eh, you let it right go right to your heads. We don't need people like you here. Where's the treasure? Oh, it's in there. Uh, hi? Oh, hi, right, okay. You're doing this thing again. You're doing this thing again. Why- why are you doing this? Oh my god. Eastward, you're the only one that does this. What is your problem? Like, hitting my keyboard and stuff? There we go. Whatever it was, it's fixed now. This is the only game that does it. I- I bought a- that. Oh cool, we don't have milk. Let's just buy a lot of that. Yeah. Cool, now we can make some things with milk. You're late! We're sorry, we didn't... didn't... Which is fabulous! Just like true movie stars, darling. Remember, you don't wait for others, others wait for you. But isn't that rude? Perish the thought, darling. It's what they want. People are dying to wait on you. Get out there and make them cry, darling. To the stage, today's scene stars you. Oh. Prop gun? 
What? It was a day in early fall, the heat of summer still sizzling off the dry ground. The bite of winter just palpable on every passing breeze. Most of all, however, it was a good day to die. There's a sort of disquietude to everything. All across the landscape, life was succumbing to... changes. Livestock, vegetation, it was all shifting, morphing, mutating into unrecognizable, gruesome creatures. A lone mountain pass, the wind whipped the ground. Tangible aura of bloodshed bloating the air. A man entered, dressed to kill, finger twitching with the lust to caress the tr trigger of his old rifle. He, he had arrived. Oh, it's me. <clears throat> Beautiful, darling. That unimpassioned visage, that apathetic magnetism. Perfect entrance, darling. Absolutely superb. I want this feeling to fill you, to consume you. Keep it up. Alright, darlings. Next up, scene 15, a surprise from behind. Ready, and action. Am I actually gonna have to fight things? Yeah. Out of here. You're wrecked, nerds. You guys don't even try to fight? Oh, okay. Out of here. Okay, so I do have, like, HP. Interestingly. And infinite ammo. Okay, you guys take more hits. There we go. Should I should I let them have some hits to to make it more exciting? Sensational, a truly moving performance. Whip those froggies right on the tush. Remember, darling, your gun's the only justice in this world. Scene 16, a backstreet pounding. Ready and action. Weird. <laughs> Enemies littered the roads like tattered weeds, the sound of his gun, the toll of the funeral bell. There was nothing now that could slow the feet of his hell-bent gunslinger. Alright, is it just gonna be a bunch of you guys again? Oh, okay, there's one of you. Whatever you are. So why frogs? Do you guys not like frogs for some reason? Uh, bing. Bing. Bang. Bang. Alright, come here, you. You guys really do like to make these towers. Okay, that was easy. Yeah, I mean, they don't- they, like, barely attack me, so... It's kind of nothing. Oh, hey, treasure. Uh, let's pull it out. Hey, I wonder if this is most of the train, now that I think about it. I'm filling in right now. It is! Okay. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Hideous alien creatures patrolled the air as hellish beasts howled their murderous call. And patrol and howl they would- but patrol and howl they would no longer, for today was their day of reckoning. The second they opened their grisly jaws, the gunslinger shot them straight between the eyes. Chunks of brain and viscera flying as they were silenced on the spot. My eye for talent is truly remarkable. Keep it up, darling. You're doing great. Up next, scene 17, Froggy Pound Town. Oh god, please no. I don't want to take the frogs to Pound Town, please. That sounds horrible. Uh, okay. We got some more interesting enemies being thrown in here now. Ow! Oh my god, they kind of overwhelmed me there. There was just a shit ton of them. Whatever. I think this is it. Gotta shoot you as you come by again. Uh-huh. Are you just going across the middle of the screen? Oh god, no. No, you're not. Okay. Can you die? <laughs> as exciting as it is waiting for you to come around every time. Can you die? There we go. Cool. Can I get a heal? Marvelous, spectacular, a work of art. You're the best gunslinger I've ever seen, darling. Now for the true test. Show them what you're really packing. An intergalactic pummeling. Ready, and action. Do I get healed? I better. Nope, I don't. Shadows grew long between the buildings as a fiery asteroid lit up the night sky. The nefarious assailant has appeared at last. Uh... Out of here, please. Okay, I don't know what that is, but get away from me. Gotta, like, crowd control here. 
pop. How many hits do these guys take? Jeez. Let me go. I did get a heal. Oh my god! Stop it! God, they're so tanky. <laughs> Jesus, those guys took like how many hits? And they have like a command grab, basically? <laughs> oh, that was nightmarish. They did two hearts of damage each hit, too. God. Warning, warning. Large object approaching. Boss fight now? Yeah, I gotta fight Godzilla? Okay. That's fine. Super Ultra Extreme Man. Henshin! <laughs> you got a Henshin, huh? Here we go. Let's do it. We get to fight Godzilla? We got our Henshin. Save me! Young girl's voice pierced its way through the rubble and debris. Wait, why didn't we just get Sam to play this part? Alright, whatever. Save me, save me, Super Ultra Extreme Man. Ultraman's got you. Forgive me, milady, but this is more than a battle of life and death. This battle shall decide the fate of the world. I am truly sorry. <clears throat> and you call yourself a hero. I'll save her. I shall protect you, milady. Cut! Stupendous, sensational, a true work of art. Bella, you are a goddess of theater. Watching you perform is like witnessing a Venus herself emerge from her clamshell. And in one fell swoop, dismantling man's rudimentary definition of beauty. Your voice could make the very ramparts of heaven shiver in the throes of orgasmic ecstasy. Why, well, I couldn't imagine a better choice for this role than... Oh, cut the plot, it's Favoliso. Let's just get this over with. I'm gonna be late for my hair appointment. Of course, darling. Anything you say. Ahem. All right now, darlings. Your mission is to simply, simple protect Bella with your life. Don't let those froggies touch a hair on her chinny chin chin, you hear? Team 20, it's your hero. Ready and action. Okay. This is going to be hard. Oh, she has HP. Since this is a protect mission, I am sort of hoping it'll be a little bit easier. And not be quite so overwhelming as some of the other ones were. As Ultraman and Godzilla fight in the background. Nope, nope. There we go. Getting double kills here. Ah, I missed! Seriously? Away. Die. Oh, she took one damage. There we go. Triple kill. Okay, that wasn't so hard. <clears throat> My hero. Can I at least know your name? Jake, how dreamy. Which is quite fitting, really. Because a dream is all you're gonna be. Prepare to die, Jake! Oh god, really? Plot twist? Plot twist. Ow. Ow. I hate this. Uh... What... in the hell is happening here? Ow. Damn it. I don't have a lot of HP for this. Okay. Whew. <laughs> That was kind of difficult, actually. I was very worried. Because you can't heal, I don't imagine, so... You... you won't stay? Stay? What? With this poor excuse for a hero? Would you rather I stay with the Machiavellian monster? No, sorry, my friend, but this is the end. I must bid you... adieu. Thus continued the great battle of the Almighty Giants. Never once did Jake look back, his keen eyes ever focused into the boundless night sky. Astounding! <clears throat> I knew you could do it, darling. It's like the carnal beast in you has finally been unleashed. You truly are an actor. And Bella, Bella, darling, of course you too. Are we done here? I've got places to be. Of course, darling, of course. You heard the lady, that's a wrap. Back it up, boys. Alright. 
I must admit, even I was impressed with your performance. I look forward to our future collaborations. <clears throat> Miss Bella, this way, please. John! You're a star now, John, a star! And this is only the beginning, darling. A titillating performance, Trudy. Truly, to think it came from a human. You darlings, go find our producer now, would you? Should be in the westernmost room, the old scamp. He'll fix you right up with the room so you can get some shut-eye. Actors need their beauty sleep, you know. What about the rocket? We were hoping to get the Rocket Knight's rocket. Rocket Knight, ook gook. You're not talking about Earthborn, are you, darling? I think an adorable little button nose like you knows what Earthborn is. As for that rocket, though. You might have luck checking the storage car to the east. Antiques piled up to the rafters in there. At any rate, enjoy your time in the spotlight, darlings. Let yourself go, squander away your money. You know what most celebrities do with their fame. Alrighty. Well, that was an interesting section. Oh my god, there's still so much to the train, though. It's in this next room. Probably about to end it off here. Wow, look at this place! This has got to be the storage car. And this... is this Solomon's castle? Oak oak ack, you two, eh? No messing around, we've got some fragile stuff in here. The director said we could find the Rocket Knight's rocket here. That's so. You two need it or something? We sure do. We're gonna use it to get to Esther City. Oh, ho, ho. never in my life have I seen such a passionate group of fans before. Wait right here, would you? Bum ba dum ba dum bum. Found it. Oh wow, this is it! This is definitely it! Now we can go to Esther City, John! A veritable smorgasbord of treasure in here, wouldn't you say? William, Daniel! We found it! We found the rocket! R rocket But this is just a... a piece of paper. What were you expecting? Five feet long and two feet wide with body of red and base of check? This courage field rocket is guided by justice! I can even add some flames to the butt if you want. But, didn't the Rocket Knight use us to fly through the sky? Sure did, and you can too. Wanna give it a go? Just hang it from a wire and you can fly from one side of the car to the other. The epitome of good old fashioned fun. It would appear we're going to need to think of a different solution. Okay, so that didn't actually solve our problem. That was pointless. Which makes sense, I suppose. Alright, so... Yeah, God, there's still so much train to go. <laughs> and now, we, yeah, we gotta go all the way back over there, too, so. Alright, I guess we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Eastward off here. Seen some movies before. Some were great, but most were awful. I'm guessing the movies here constitute mostly the latter. Save your memories. Save. Alright, and with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Eastward off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.